Good morning, guys. Today's Tuesday. Let's sing the days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay. Well, we're going to start off with the question of the day. And the question of the day will be, what would you like to ask someone that build buildings or houses? So I want you to answer that question with your parents and tell them to give me a text to let me know what your answer was. Or you could just call me. How cool would that be? Okay, now we're going to do our love you ritual for today. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a wonderful child you are, with bright eyes and nice round cheeks, a talented person from your head to your feet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a wonderful child you are. Oh, I miss you guys so much. All right, we're going to keep it moving. Today, what I want you to do while you're at home, I want you to do a shape hunt. Can you, I think, don't that sound like fun? I want you to walk around through your house and see what different shapes you see. And let Miss Audrey know what you found. And was it rough or was it smooth? Did it have round edges? Was it tall? So I want me to, you to give me your answers. Now, today we're going to read House, Sweet House. Can you see? House, Sweet House. I thought this was a great book because everybody has to be at home. And I really miss you and wish you could be here with me. Okay, this is our title page. And this book was written by Judy Bauer Stamper. Can you remember that name? Judy Bauer Stamper. And this is our, you guessed it, this is our title page. Oh, God. Families live in all kinds of houses. There are big houses, little houses, and houses in all colors of the rainbow. No matter what it looks like, a family's house is its home. Can you see it? Oh, wow. That's a beautiful home. Pages are sticking on me. Some houses are built for just one family. Other buildings contain homes for many people. In the city, many families may live in one tall apartment building. In a small town, families often live in separate houses with their neighbors close by. So which house do you live in? Do you have neighbors or do you live in an apartment? Huh. In the country, of a family in a farmhouse might be the only family for miles around. Do you think you would want to live in a farmhouse? Wow. Do you see that red barn? What do you think live in that barn? Houses come in different shapes. Some are square. Some are round, and some shapes are a surprise. And a frame house has a long shape with a sloped roof that goes all the way to the ground. A-frames are often built in snowy areas because snow slides right off. Wow, you see that? 
That's a cool house. The snow won't stick on it. How cool is that, guys? In one part of China, people lived in tulus. A tulu is an O-shaped building with apartments circling the center. Some houses on the edge of the desert are shaped like beehives with people living inside. Look how cool those are. Can you see it? Look at that one. Wow, see how they made like beehives? People build houses almost anywhere near the water, under the ground, and up in treetops. People along rivers build their houses on stilts to keep their families high and dry. You think you would want to live on a house like that? Up in the air? I think I would be a little afraid. What if the sticks break? Will I, you think we'll fall in the water? Wow. Some people like, live underground in houses that are hidden from sight. Other people build homes, houses high up in the treetops to stay safe from wild animals. So which would you rather be underground, see, or would you live, rather live in a tree house? All right. Most houses stay in one place, but some houses can travel along wherever a family goes. Sleep herders in Mongolia live in houses called gurts, white tents that can be taken down, folded up, and carried to a new place. How cool would that be to fold your house up and take it wherever you would go? Wow. People who live on houseboats can anchor their homes at a dock at, or travel up and down a river. There are even houses on wheels. Families can drive their mobile homes anywhere and have their houses with them when they stop. So how cool would that be to live on a houseboat or live on a in a trailer that you can travel and take your home with you everywhere you go. Wow, how cool is those houses? Do you know what kind of house this might be? Long ago in America, houses looked very different from the kinds of houses we live in today. Native Americans built houses that fit their way of life. Those who traveled the Great Plains lived in teepees that they could move with them when they hunted buffalo. Wow, that's a nice teepee. Wow, when we get back together, let's get together and make some teepees. Or better yet, while you at home, see, can you make a teepee? Some Native Americans built dome-shaped dwellings out of thatch grass. Settlers who came to America built log cabins in the woods. They cut down trees, notched the ends of logs, and stacked them in, stacked them up to make warm wooden houses. So look at these. Wow. The one, you see that one? That was made out of thick grass. And then you have this one that is made out of logs. Which would you rather live in? Thick grass one or the wooden house one? Some houses are famous all over the world because important people live in them. I bet you don't know what that house is. Can you guess what house that is? <gasps> the White House in Washington, D.C. is the home of the President of the United States. And the first family, that's a big house. Can you guess how many rooms would be in this house? Buckingham Palace is the London home of the King or Queen of England. Visitors, visitors come to watch the changing of the guard. 
The Forbidden City stands in Beijing, China, and is now a museum. Long ago, it was the Imperial Palace of Chinese Imperial. See, those are different emperors' home in China. And then they didn't make this one out of a museum now. Okay. A tent in the Sahara Desert has sides that can roll up to catch a breeze or roll down when there's a sandstorm. Wow. Do you think that's safe? Yeah, probably, huh? In the freezing weather of the Arctic, an igloo made of snow can become a temporary home for hunters and travelers. A house with a burning fireplace can make a family feel cozy and comfortable. So look, that's the igloo. And this is at home by the fireplace. Wow. Houses are places to eat, sleep, work, and play. Kitchens are busy places in homes all over the world. Families make everything from burritos and brianas to barbecue. Mmm, do you help your mom cook when it's time to cook dinner? Do y'all bake together? Send me some of y'all ideas of the things y'all do together. Everyone has a chore to do around the house. It might be sweeping the steps, feeding the chickens, or doing the dishes. At night, a house is where you snuggle up, fall asleep, and have sweet dreams. So right there, you see he's helping his dad wash the dishes. Do you help wash dishes at home? I sure hope so. Make sure you do your part to help mommy and daddy out. And look at that. They are sleeping in their cozy beds. There are all kinds of houses, and there are all kinds of families. Families are what make a house a home. And where do you live? What is special about your house? So that is what I want you to think about. And I want you to tell your mom to send me a text telling me where do you live and what is special about your house. Okay, guys, that concludes our discussions for today. I'll be waiting for mom's or dad's text. I love you guys and I miss you. See you tomorrow.